This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. Decades overdue, it's finally starting. Some semblance of a property tax revolt in New Hampshire. By declaring his controversial home a parsonage or church or something like that. Keen radio host Ian Freeman has probably triggered the three year countdown to having the home taken. Now, when I say home, there are really different words that I could use for this spot. It could be, I could call it the Keen Activity Center, which is sort of part of the, yeah, I guess duplex that makes up Ian's property. That place is even more controversial than Ian's house. Although, I'm really not sure what all the definitions are here and what all the geographic significance of each part of the property is. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Keen Activity Center is part of that, if it's just Ian South. But anyway, the important thing is there's a property there that's basically going into revolt status. Now, if I understand correctly, this situation is different from what's developing in Grafton. Uh, where uh, Free Stater John Cannell owns a church. Which is in fact a church building and is open to the public for worship services and so forth to a large extent. I'm assuming he, you know, kind of went through the normal paces that you go through in terms of paperwork and so forth. I'm not really referring to that as an attempted revolt. Who is the guy in the hat? The man right there stole my phone. What Ian and company are doing, I I got the impression from listening to Free Talk Live that they're not even going through the motions of trying to get government approval to be a church or be treated as a church. Anyway, so whichever of these properties or situations inspire you more. I think maybe we have some thinking to do about what kinds of things can or should be done to make sure the government does not have an easy time of it if it comes for them, for these properties. Here are some of my brainstorms. Things we've never been able to do before. So in some cases. Let's say we get to the point, perhaps in the year 2016, where the house is now at risk of confiscation. And personally, I would have preferred this was just an out and out civil disobedience act as opposed to going through the sort of freak showish element of calling it a church. <laughs> people naming themselves all these titles that people are just going to laugh at. But uh, the number one step that I think should be taken, and, and actually the step I take when I'm around the CAC the Keen Activity Center, is to uh, try and become an asset to the neighborhood for a change. And, and by that I mean enough of an asset so that you're actually perceived as an asset by the neighbors. I've only ever heard of one uh, situation where the people who inhabit the CAC have gone out and uh, cleaned up the neighborhood or something like that. It's not a dirty neighborhood, but it's very residential and Whenever I've been to the CAC, I felt actually kind of uncomfortable being there. Like it's sort of a, I know, like I'm taking up parking space away from people who live in the area. There's not really many places to park. Maybe that situation's changed somehow since I was there last. But uh, ice removal is another uh, useful thing that could be done around there, which I'm sure the neighbors would appreciate. Ideally, as Ian is always saying, you don't want to do this kind of thing in isolation. And that's why he didn't do it for all these years, because he, didn't, he, you know, he thought he would be kind of alone. But uh, isolating themselves is exactly what the uh, folks at the CAC tend to be doing. Why are you threatened? I just got a video camera. an object in your hand, and it's very threatening. The camera is threatening to you, Kay? Yes, I think it is. You just stepped Isn't up to me. Isn't that what you used to do? Bye failing to win the support of the neighborhood, at least some support. Well, they probably get some, but I don't sense much effort to uh, 